Hey everybody, call me Felix, and on this episode of Lolo Lito's Pinoy Kitchen, Warren. No, I'm not Lolo Lito, as can you see, guys. I'm Chef Warren. So this is my first time that I cook duck. Mm -hmm. I don't know it's gonna be fun, and but I'm so confident for myself. You know what? Because <laughs> this is my first time. Oh, no, it's because of the hair. So you see, Warren's hair, you know, it's ever since he got it done, <laughs> he's been filled with all kinds of confidence. Confidence. But so he is going to cook us duck soup. D uh, duck tinola with mm. blood, known as in Ilocano as Su Su. So, you know what? We came from the rabbit farm in which they cook that sort of one with native chicken. And Warren thinks he can do better. I mean, gosh, the hair. <laughs> I mean, it's the, it's the hair, people. It, you know, he had to get this done because, of course, he had straight black hair. And so, you know, they had to solder his scalp or burn his scalp to put all this hair on top. I think there's some sort of genetic sort of thing that's gotten into Warren's head. It's like a different person. But he thinks he's like Street Fighter Ken or yeah, like an anime go. character. Yeah. So he, <laughs> So he... I think the hair, there must be some genetic material yeah. that has like hijacked his brain. And now he thinks he's like a badass cook too. So in the bag are two ducks. Now, let me just warn you guys, these are two live ducks because we need the blood once we slaughter them. So make sure that the blood doesn't coagulate, right chef? Yes sir. There, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Screen cut this material. Is from Philippines. Stop jiggling like that. <laughs> we need a clear. It's moving. I know, but you not move. We need a clear screen cap. Come on, smile or something. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god, that's like the most forced smile in the world. It's like the <laughs> scariest shit, yes, man. Poor smile. Not much more natural. There you go. Ben has christened him the cook with the apron. Look at him. Remember guys, this is Warren's first time making this soup. And to our sous chef for today is Gio. Or maybe not sous chef, but helper. What are we doing first, chef? Come on. You look like the you look like Street Fighter Ken works at Benny Hanna with that cleaver. <laughs> Like Ken got lost at Benihana and and, and they Benihana forced him to work. Yeah, 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 and then they forced him to work because he didn't have enough money. I'm like, sorry, Ken, this is real life, yeah, not in like that um video game world where you can be a badass anytime you want. So look at Gio's gonna. What are you gonna do, Gio? Papa, <laughs> <laughs> What the? English audience. Look at this one. Okay, everybody, this is how you yeah, um, sharpen the knife. This is how you sharpen your cleaver at home. You have to do a dance, too. Yeah. Look, look, look how much well, motion he's like putting this. into. It makes the food taste better. Yeah, it, it makes it a lot sharper, too. Look at, look, look at that effort that he puts into, in, into that. Know? That little wiggle. It's now getting sharp. Just shake your booty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to put some wiggle action in, 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 into sharpening that with that whetstone, right? Yeah. I don't know, man. You, you're sharpening the side, not the damn blade. Okay, so you're going to have to do the bloodletting, right? And then you have to make sure one of you guys has to capture all that blood, right? And then keep mixing the blood around so it doesn't curdle, right? Doesn't go solid, okay? Remember, I see you're giving him a haircut first, Warren. Yes, sir. This is what you call V-cut. So this is how you dispatch a duck. It's just by lightly tapping it by the neck like that. Yeah, just stop, 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 the, the things you learn every day. So this is like a very gentle tapping of like, it's like almost pinic pica in a way. Ah, the manual work of plucking feathers from the, the ducks, the two ducks we're having. One to make su su out of it, the other we're gonna roast. And that's the easier way of doing it, is to boil it and then you must pluck them out. But they're doing this in record time. So I don't know if you're supposed to do it like that, but I mean, look at that blood, it's turned into mud. But it's all, we just gotta aerate it with a bit of lemongrass, basically, to kind of bubble up. See, it's starting to bubble up a little bit. See that? Yeah. So JP's got a handle on that. 
Whereas we have one duck still to strip of the feathers, and this one is nearly done. Look at it! Wow. Wait, so what are we doing here, chef? Why are we so, roasting uh, this? It's not. It's, it's remove, a soup. You have to remove the. Ano, the feathers that are kind of left. <laughs> you know on the excess <laughs> feathers? Don't forget to include those vital organs in the soup, Warren. Yeah. Maybe not the intestines so much, but you know. The liver, the heart. That's some good eating. So what are you doing, Warren? You're salting the duck, right? Make sure it's extra clean, okay? We add extra salt, right? Huh? Salt is important. Yes. He gets rid of all the impurities, right? By the way, I want you to know that the duckies are watching. Dirk Duckler and Donna Duck. Unfortunately, Dirk Duckler's been eating the eggs. Their own eggs. So he's a cannibal, unfortunately. He's growing a taste even though he has adequate food. Ugh. So that's on the cutting board, all the organs and the duck head. So that's, of course, discarded for our roasted duck. But for Chef Warren, this is all necessary, right? Put in the head. I don't know about the intestines, like I said, but the duck hearts are good. Duck heart and the duck liver are good. Remember that. Hmm? Okay, Warren, can you describe what is going on here? So you boiled the duck meat in the guava. Uh, not really meat. boiled. Not really boiled? I put the, like, for five minutes. You let it simmer in a s simmer, right? Yeah. Slow. Mm -hmm. So this will re get take the gaminess out of the meat, right? Yeah. And so, what are you gonna do next with the meat? Ginisa. Mm, Ginisa. So I, I mean, you're gonna grind it up. Stir fry. Oh, stir fry. Yeah. Let's put some ginger, uh, onions, and. Oh, cool. So you're going to stir fry it first, so then it kind of gives that um, a little bit of a toasty sort of uh, taste, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. You kind of br brown the meat before making the soup out of it, right? Can you smell it, sir? How it smell like? No, it doesn't really smell. You see? I'm yeah. smelling more of the, the charcoal, to be honest. Or the wood. That's it. Sorry. It's not really aromatic yet. First of first. <laughs> okay, we got ginger and we've got red onions, chef. Ooh. All right. Have you been breaking a sweat Warren all day or what? Uh, no. Put all of this. Put all of it in. All right. Yeah. Sweep the leg, Johnny. So the folks at home want exact portion sizes. So how much of an onion did you put in there? Oh, uh, one whole. Ah, smoke got in your eyes. One whole red onion. And how about your ginger? How much are we talking about? How many? Um, one nub, right? One nub. Yeah. yeah, smoke gets in your eyes, everyone. This is what happens when you cook with open fire. And you know what? The boys needed to chop down a whole forest out there. Yeah, just to get the Just to get all the wood, yeah. Our, our old folks would say you're not being very resourceful. Huh, Warren? <laughs> what are you doing right now? Adding the pep uh, yeah. pepper. So wait, we had one lump of garlic and then we had one onion and then we kind of had like... Ginger, you. Yeah. One lump of ginger, yeah. Sorry, ten cloves of garlic. Ten cloves of garlic, uh-huh. One small lump of ginger. Yeah. And then one whole onion. Mm -hmm. And this is one whole duck, everyone. So this is... Mm, yeah. Or just about. Yeah, just about. One whole duck. One extra heart. With an extra heart, yeah. <laughs> with extra organs, yes, from the other duck that we were roasting with. There you go. But Warren doesn't really cook, so this is going to be a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I just When this comes out, he really doesn't cook. Mm -hmm. So this will be a pleasant surprise. We'll figure yeah. out. Yeah. 
And here's is the helping ingredient. <laughs> Magic <laughs> syrup. <laughs> you gotta open it. <laughs> it's not like a playtime where you pretend to put ingredients in your imaginary bowl, right? If I could put that stuff in an IV, I would. <laughs> I love magic syrup. What is that made of? MSG. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone, this is... Blood. The blood. Bloody blood. So we've been cooking for about... Six minutes, just about? Yup. Do you sure are you putting all the ingredients all at once like this, or... Yeah, I'm Aren't you sure. gonna do them in stages? Aren't you supposed to put the in when you have water in there? As far as the blood goes? Yeah. Mm. No, I'll just put the blood. You sure, Warren? Yes, sir, I'm pretty sure. And then what about your vinegar? You put your vinegar in when? When and the blood. it's already mixed all the ingredients. Mm. There is the blood added. I hope this doesn't turn into like duck de nuguan or something. Of course, it's got to be soupy. And believe me, I'm in the line of fire right now. I'm closing my eyes. I don't know what it looks like right now on the camera because the smoke's blowing my direction. I'm closing them right now. Okay. Yeah, two of those bowls. Yeah. It smells a bit earthy because of the blood. I think you need more water. Yeah, you'll need more. Cover it. Quickly. Yeah, put some more. <laughs> There's that extra Magic yellow ingredient. snow. <laughs> yellow snow. It's the it's the yellow snow that's safe to eat, everybody. Magic syrup. And how long is this gonna take? This cook this soup. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes? Yeah. What? No way. No flipping way. It's gonna be too hard. It's gonna be too hard. I'm telling you now. It's gonna take like a couple of hours. Come on. That tells you ever since you got that hair done. Mm. You've become quite reckless, I must this say. Is the best soup ever, you know. Mm, okay. <laughs> in this entire universe. Oh, in this entire universe, huh? <laughs> I'm only yung nakalams ingredients. <laughs> that yellow. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow, the yellow snow. snow. Yeah, that's the main ingredients, you know. Magis are up. Yeah. <laughs> that's the yellow snow you can eat, everyone. So here's the challenge for you, Warren. You just got you managing the fire too. Yeah. Manually. This is, this is like the toughest part to do, right, Warren? So you are. are is, is this gonna premiere on like P uh, Mama Pink's kitchenette soon, and it will displace her poxil? Let's see. Maybe, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the new pop-up yeah. on uh, Mama Ping's farm. Siu Siu. Siu Siu. I'm sorry, Mama Ping, but I beat your pack <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I know. I'm just kidding, you know, Did Mama. Pack you? Pack you? Pack you? Pack you? I just want to tell my friends that I've been touched by angels. <laughs> Warren, are you supposed to be cooking right now? Well, this is what happens when it's a, it's a tinola dish that's stewing away over there. Oh, ano pa alam mo? Oh, but ang alis. You blew it, son. <laughs> oh, he's tasting the soup. <laughs> Oh my god, the freaking smoke! Too sour. And some patis. It needs to be a little more savory than sour. Yeah. Okay, chef. He's adding the patis. More? Ah, ah. Okay, too salty, too salty. Maybe I'll add some vinegar later, right? Mm -hmm. The sweet. The meat. <laughs> yeah. The sweet meat. Too sweet. Um, it's very smooth. It's very smooth? Why do you say everything is smooth? Let's wait a few it's hours. Sweet? Maybe oh, a few hours. Let's wait a few hours. Maybe 30 minutes, like that. Man, a few hours is not, th 30 minutes is not a few hours. So this is no, I mean, let's wait 30 minutes 
it's already done now. Uh, That's all. Filipino time is so off kilter, Warren, and yours is worse. <laughs> Yeah, it's already done now, maybe. Let's try. <coughs> not bad. Not bad, huh? The best soup in the world. Nah, it's only not bad. Just put some... Siling a buyo, yes. yes. Yay. And then you're gonna... Add some water, yes? Looks too thick. Oh, oh yeah, daddy. <laughs> this is like... What does it taste like? Can you taste it, sir? It's from your own mouth. No. <laughs> it's like mud. It looks like oil. And magic syrup that is not dissolved. That's what it looks like, that's what it tastes like. <clears throat> what? It's very bland. Bland, so we'll put some... Oh, yeah. What? What this? I think it's got... Uh, I think it's got a bit... <laughs> I think it needs more vinegar. Vinegar? A little bit. Okay. But is there flavor? Yeah, it's more of a rich sort of blood flavor. Rich wood. Oh! Yeah, mate. Ah! This pop-ush! <laughs> okay, Warren the chef. He has tasted his soup for the umpteenth time and it re he It's not the, the, the heat that's reducing the broth. It's because Warren keeps trying to taste and taste and taste because he's very insecure now. Whether he can pull this off. I didn't make him insecure! Warren is putting the final touches on his soup, which he claims is the best soup ever. Yeah. And he's putting a bunch of sealing labuyo hindi in nyo, there. Hindi nyo, hindi nyo, um, I'm, what? <laughs> Tongue tied again? Hindi nyo maintindi, um, I mean... You don't understand what? You know, you know, you know, uh, 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 a cut, 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 Three, but you cut some chilies two, though. One. Okay, this this is the last recipe that I'm going to put in the part, so guys. So you mean your your soup has not enough flavor, so you gotta put up more seedling the bouillo? What are we gonna do next? Put samyang sauce in there? No. Just put seedling the bouillo. So this now looks like. I put now? Maybe that? You look like one of those. spicy when I put all of this. And then mix. Warren, you look like one of the three witches from like uh, Macbeth. Double trouble and royal and trouble and blah 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 that's going on in there. He's tasting his soup. Yet again, for the umpteenth time. He still cannot put that ladle to his lips. Barely. Oh shit, oh my god. This is so freaking yummy. Okay, describe the yumminess of your mm, tasting. Mm. Yum, yummy, yum, ula yum. What does it taste like? Tastes like when you're in heaven, you know. <laughs> ah, shut up, Warren! Yeah. That's like yeah, as abstract as it gets. Or maybe you're a kid at, at your first time eating chocolate, you know what? That's, that's like... I don't know, some kids don't like chocolate on first bite. Just mix it. I think this no will be. Sir, you want it's to taste like it? like brown ale. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna taste it. Mm. <clears throat> oh my god. Too much. Too much of what? <laughs> Too much, um... Vinegar. And so what are you gonna do with too much vinegar? Put some water instead. Mm-hmm. 
Oh boy, oh boy. Warren says it is done. It ha How many hours have elapsed since? Oh gosh, smoking eyes again. Ugh. What time is now? It's now Almost four o'clock. Four o'clock. So this whole process. Three hours. No! Longer! It took like five hours! Yeah, because we start at 11. 11. I or 11, yeah. We start at 11 a.m. So it's now done. It's almost 4 o'clock. Do the now. math. It's almost what? 4 o'clock. And then maybe you have five hours. To yes, five hours. Well, it's a good thing I ate some fried rice as a snack because uh, we would not have eaten lunch and this is like the latest lunch I've ever had and such. And this, I think among the, like, especially the rabbit, this is probably almost up there with the toughest shoots. But thank goodness today is a windy day. Thank goodness. It's a very earthy brown soup. They smoke. You put it. You at least put that fire out. God, please. Move, move, move up. I put me out here. Snowball, I've been starving too. Don't give me that look, please. That's all. That's all, huh? Come on, what are you doing? Digging for gold? Come on. It looks like some big old duck chunks here. Wow, it almost has like the look of like liquid dunuguan. Try this. It smells like dunuguan. Okay, everybody. This is the duck soup. So, remember, let me recap for you what this is. So at the farm, we had, or the rabbit farm, when we had that rabbit episode, we had siu siu, which is a kind of chicken tinola or chicken soup. Um, with blood distributed and then flavored with vinegar and um, seedling labuya or spice so you can see this broth looks like liquid dunuguan but made in like soup consistency and it looks a little oily too Warren's first time to cook uh, I don't spoil this or but this kind that's too hot spicy too spicy. Oh, there's something to look forward to then. Yeah. All right, here we go. <coughs> it's hot. Well, you might have made it really unpleasant. What? What does that mean? Well, you got some good flavor. I think that the kick at the end. But it, let me see. But it's really hot, though. I mean the, 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 the temperature. That's why I said maybe I'll let it cool down a little bit. Yeah, how should I ex describe this? Hmm. Okay. There's definitely... Now, if you don't like blood, I will say that this feels thicker than the chicken broth that we mm. had. Like thicker mouth feel. And a little bit oily too. And then when you pass it through your mouth, it has kind of like, there's a slight chalkiness, like a very slight bit, like there has been some blood. Yeah. This <clears throat> tastes like, for me, like the new one, and papayitan without the bile kind of formed together. Because we're talking about duck and we're talking about blood, duck blood as a thickener, it tastes a little richer. Let's try some of that meat out instead. Freshly killed meat too. It does not taste gamey at all. The duck meat's pretty substantial. Um, but it doesn't, it tastes like, because all the gaminess has been cooked out of it, it tastes kind of like a richer chicken. And the, the duck taste, I guess, the richness had gone into the broth instead. This is not a bad first attempt. This is pretty good for Warren to be making this soup for the first time. For me, I want a little more balance. 
a little more balance. I want that really punchy acidity, just a little bit more. And then I want a little more of that heat. Um, now, oh, of course I was coughing because of something just kind of snuck up and surprised me. That's kind of what's with this broth, I think. It's like the chili doesn't have any effect, but then it has a little bit of an effect on you when uh, you're not expecting it. Okay. I want more balance. I think I want more ginger flavor. Just also the gingery texture. I want more of that. Add a little more sweetness, a little more punch. Okay. Good news, Warren. Sir. Is the flavor is quite nice with the richness. Problem for me is um, I like the balance of the chicken sisu better. But it might have to do really with the ingredient. If I, if I were doing this again, I guess... Remember what you were saying about the vinegar? You thought there was a little too much? Yeah. I think you should have left it in there. A little more. Oh. More ginger will give it some more freshness. Mm -hmm. Um, A little more juiciness too. That's what I like. Duck meat is really not gamey at all. So it has more of a chicken sort of taste. But all in all, for a first attempt, tasty. Really pretty tasty. Um, So I'm really just nitpicking. But as far as the balance of flavor... That chicken susu we had at the rabbit farm is more up my alley. I like a little more of that heat that comes from, like a sweet heat coming from that ceiling labuyo. More of the ginger, like, I like that. And then a little more of punchiness with the vinegar would be good. But I think because this is duck and you've got duck blood made it richer, it kind of gives it like a vinous, earthy kind of um, tone. I'm getting more of that. Like I said, this is almost like a cross between Tunuguan and Pinapaitan without the bile. So there's no, you know, aggressive sourness at all. I would venture to say, for a European palate, European palate would, might like this type of duck soup. European, because it's kind of like... It almost has like a red wine braised quality without the red wine. And of course like the blood. No, so there's kind of like that kind of Bohemian European palette it would fit with this quite well. Alright. So that's a thorough review. I think this is a good try for Ward. First time. Tasty. Meat turned out well. <clears throat> And I think just the balance, and then the other thing is, there are parts of which are a little unpleasant that where the, where the heat makes you, well, it's not the heat, so it's something makes you cough at that end. I don't know what. Je ne sais quoi. Right? Because it's not really the spice. Maybe because there's a little more, too much punchiness, but then the punchiness is negated a lot by the blood, but then the sensation still remains. All right, if that ever made any sense. All right, I'll switch this off. Let's try that roasted duck next. Hmm? I think I'll wrap up this video. And so, once again, we had Warren said the best soup ever. Um, his first try is really good, I have to say. Um, even though it doesn't touch the best soup ever sort of stratum yet. But with some improvement, maybe. Maybe. And then JP made us an emergency roast duck, which is pretty dang good. If he had more time, I think it would be even better. So I think he can agree with me on that. And then, yeah, that's about it. Um, again, duck isn't really a Filipino delicacy as much. I mean, the blue eggs are. But, yeah, learning to c cook with duck. And they're relatively cheap out here in the province, too. I mean, a good-sized duck is 250 pesos. Oh, Snowball. Right? Begging again. Snowball, out. Okay, so I think Snowball's saying, all right, it's time to wrap this up. Okay, Warren, what's the, your final words here? Yeah, uh... Um, I didn't give the spiel yet, so go, go ahead and do it. Guys, this is my first time that I cook a duck. Hmm. Or my cooking. entire life, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. You did a good job. Yeah. Warren? Mm. It's a whole day event. It's yeah. not easy. Yeah. This is... So, congrats mm, to you. Good yeah. job. Thank yeah. you, good my job. pleasure again. <laughs> okay. So... A success for Warren, I think. And um, Take, oh, you, you, what what do you want to say to the what do you want to say to the people back home watching this? Wrap this up, please. Take us home. 
Um, Come on, don't be like Omega. Guys, if you are ready for making a soup, just mm -hmm. contact me. And you know, you know, that's a big letter, Felix Ruela. Don't forget to like, share, <laughs> comments, and the most important thing in this world is subscribe. Awesome! <laughs> That's not bad. Exactly. Yeah. That's not bad. Good job, Warren. That's a nice job, Warren. You, get, you even got the spiel down, too. So, okay, until the next time, guys. Keep cool, but carry. Remember, Empire never ended.